It's good to be back playing Classic on my own PC. The whole old PC starting to die and all that stuff going on interrupted a pretty good flow of getting cable back harvest and in order to kind of get back into Classic slowly, I thought we'd actually go for a different kind of hunt. A little bit of competition hunting out here on White Rhyme Ridge. So there are four species that we've entered competitions for and I'm hoping that we can maybe kind of continue adding competition trophies to our gallery. That's been one thing since they redesigned the trophies. I want to get at least one trophy for every species in. I think outside of Moose, which technically we got on Hemeldahl, we have none for the White Rhyme species, so lots to potentially earn here. Now the array of competitions we have today is pretty interesting. A lot of them are kind of unique, and I tend to find that the more unique competitions with different rule sets often don't have quite as good participation, which can lead to more opportunity to win those comps, but this polar bear is not going to do us any good for competitions. Our comp today is the lightest charging polar bear is the winner, and of course a male, actually a decent sized male, is not going to get us anywhere as far as being the lightest weight. Now it actually went up to 32, it looked like it had a decent sized skull on it, but quite frankly I say that every time that we shoot a good sized male polar bear. I'm hoping to see 30 plus, it would be nice to add another one of those to the trophy lodge. And if it is, we could kind of compare and maybe consider doing a skull mount over a full body, but good way to start even though it's not going to get us any competition trophies. I'm just going to say this now, if we ever recover this thing, I'll be surprised. I can't seem to find a way across this ice. There's maybe a chance over here. Already once I've fallen into the water and had to go back to the tent, which fortunately is really close here. That's the only thing that's kind of saving us some amount of time, but that's one thing that's kind of important with Polar Bear, and I didn't even think about it with that particular area. You kind of got to make sure there's a path to go and claim them. I'm not fully certain there is one here. That was awful. By far the worst obstacle course of ice we've ever had to navigate to actually go and recover a polar bear. I hope he is actually decent sized. 460 weight says he won't be. 28.7 after all that. I'm really interested to go back and look and see how far we had traveled, how many meters we had traveled prior to the shot, and how many uh, it took to actually go and recover him because it felt like several kilometers worth. And I don't even know that it's worth actually uh, trying to traverse that back. Probably going to intentionally fall in the water and fast travel. It is a super long run out and around. A couple of spots where we had to kind of run over a small gap in the ice, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. At least we got him, but uh, not sure it was worth that amount of time for a 28. This, at the very least, could be a learning opportunity here. I never know. When a competition requires an animal to be charging, I don't know if they need to be in the act of actually running at you or just kind of aggressive. So the nice thing about polar bears is it's fairly easy to sneak in close. And then the move is going to be to run at it close enough that it's going to try to turn and charge. Now the problem is they will bluff charge at times. That one did not. So we don't want to hit it again because now it's no longer in that charging phase. It looks like an intestine hit, or body even. I don't know if the 9.3 is gonna take that down. Almost should've went like 340 or something, but I wanted a, a rifle for, you know, seek a deer. Uh, Doll Sheep is a handgun competition today, but I hope that's gonna be enough to bring it down. A little unfortunate. I felt like I should've been kind of through a shoulder and into the lung, but I guess off we go for another probably difficult recovery. There are very few situations in which a drop shot is a much more difficult recovery than a body hit, but this was one of them. 
really we just tracked it a little bit and it happened to be laying here so it was just kind of a, a minute to wait it out and we're all good so 245 kg how on earth that was a hip bone shot i have no idea actually i'll be honest i'm a little worried now it does place us it puts us in sixth place so i don't even know like what minimum weight for a polar bear is if we can find other female polar bears as we go along we'll try to get them to charge as well but I was kind of thinking that because it was a hip bone shot, maybe it had turned to flee just before our shot, but clearly it was still charging at the time. This has just been a hunt of weird situations. We've got a doll sheep right there, and we need to make a good shot with the 44, so I can hear it like sniffing as if it knows we're here. We're going to try to stand up super fast and get a shot off. It was 130 to 215, decent weight estimate. I saw it flee. And I knew it was decent. I don't know how big it actually is. Hard to say when you get a glimpse that quick, but definitely pretty nice curls. I always think the weight is pretty important for these guys. 102 could be all right. 186, I mean, not half bad. For the moment, that's got us in first place. If I remember right, this was the competition that initially kind of caught my eye as to what I wanted to go for today i want to say there are in the area of 14 hours remaining which i don't know i'd i'd give us a shot at staying top three there i'll go back and confirm that in the meantime there was a uh, arctic fox they called over here which unfortunately spooked but they're one of the easier animals to uh, track down and call back in so we'll kind of get moving that way i'll check on the competition and see if that is the case but maybe a potential to win a trophy there I'm actually going to say just based on the track weight, it's probably not worth pursuing that fox. The competition is just for high score, and of course fox are scored by their weight, but I was correct in that the doll sheep competition does end in about 14 hours, so I feel good about that one. It's not a huge score, but it's tough to get a doll sheep with a handgun, and the fact that we got that close really was aided by the water, but even still, I think it was pretty pretty crazy that we managed to get within probably 20 meters i never even did look at the distance but we might just have a another call it sheep or goat species trophy on our hand we've gotten ibex and bighorn maybe doll sheep getting added next i would say there is a pretty good chance the only time we'll end up using the aim point site this entire year is specifically for this competition it's not a scope i use much but for this arctic fox comp we need a double lung shot using the aim point now we can hit other organs so a broadside shot maybe while it's moving isn't the most risky thing but we need to make sure that we don't shoot too far back and only get one lung i think that's gonna be good it was kind of tough he was walking in that perfect spot where he's gonna stay out of our sight uh that may have been a mistake was that not oh there were two different male arctic fox in this area that could be a problem for now, I think, unless the competition's based on weight, but I thought it was said based on scorer, that's going to put us in first. Now, this competition just started, so 10.2 is not a big fox in the slightest, and I wouldn't expect that to remain in first place for more than maybe a couple of hours at most. I guess this was the track of the fox that I was hoping to see, and he must have been very close, but he's not that huge either, only going up to 6.6 .6 kg, so... I'm going to say we'll just move on, but at least we got to get an entry in that comp. I wasn't sure about that one. While it's not a huge snowshoe by any stretch, 1300 to 1800 is pretty decent for a male, and the only requirement for the snowshoe comp is birdshot. I'm pretty sure any shotgun will do, so I just grabbed the uh, snow camo 20 gauge, and that at least will get us an entry for all the competitions that we are entered in today. And I don't remember for the snowshoes. I actually want to say there was only one entry at the time. 1.5 kg, a little over 1500 is really good actually for a male. It's the females that get up closer to the 2000 mark. Fifth place, I mean, all of our comps we're kind of at a decent spot in. Now for trying to improve those spots and we're kind of just scooting down through here. I wouldn't mind if we can kind of get into bison territory a bit. A lot of you guys that have been around the channel for a long time know that I've wanted a rare bison for forever, and 
it would be a hunt like this where we're not hunting bison. Unfortunately, the bison comp was, I think, a distance comp, and that's not something I've ever been very good at, so I didn't even enter that one, but it would be a hunt where we're not in bison territory, where there would be a rare just waiting on us where we always go. This is, in theory, a horrible idea, because this is kind of a decent male arctic fox. 8 kg is the max, up to 7.7 is pretty solid, but 15 score estimate says it's not going to be that big. And it's spooks, so we can't just simply call it in. So I think we are going to attempt to make that shot with the aim point. I mean, he dropped. It could be decent. The nice thing about the red dot sight in Classic, you can control the intensity of the dot. So going down all the way to the minimum for a range like that kind of helps. And I mean, maybe that'll be a double lung. Maybe that will get us somewhere in the competition. But I do think by the time this competition is over, probably there will be a top three of 15 plus scoring Fox. I didn't feel like it was worth it. Maybe it will be. And heck, maybe we made the double lung shot. It won't matter. I might be crazy. Now that is vital blood. I mean, that impact is just about perfect. I don't know anything about the 223. Really, I don't use it much. No idea if double lung at that range would be feasible. I would expect it to be. It was single lung and liver. Now he's only 13.6. I don't think that would be a top three fox by the end. That's really the reason I took the shot. We could have waited that out, but we have been out here for two hours. And of course, there are probably other things that would be a better uh, thing to spend time on, but kind of proud of the drop shot at that range with the aim point anyway. I want to say... That is a light fur type moose. About maybe a month ago, there were a number of new fur types added, and it's probably an uncommon. I wouldn't say it's anything exactly special. But as we're kind of transitioning into some of the bison territory, we might as well go ahead and try to take that. And by the way, we still have a decent chance of encountering mostly doll sheep, but definitely some snowshoe hare as well. Probably not going to see many more arctic fox or polar bear. Though you never know, you can sometimes encounter those things, especially, what, two hours into a hunt in different areas than you would expect, but just a kind of cool thing, and I'm pretty sure piebald bull moose don't have nearly as much white fur on their head. Cow moose do, but the bulls, usually it's a little less pronounced, so pretty confident this is a light, but that's the other thing, kind of in the blizzardy conditions when we took the shot, I wanted to make sure we weren't passing up a piebald. That would just simply be the light fur type, even up close for a moment, I wasn't sure, but that is confirmation 99 score, but a hard shot at 192 meters isn't bad. And yeah, we'll kind of just run up through here. I want to get probably up into that area somewhere. That's more so where I'd expect to start to see some snowshoes again. And who knows, rare bison, anything like that that we can maybe encounter on our way. It's certainly not a rare and definitely not huge, but... 105 to 120 with a solid weight estimate. I figure we'll go ahead and take this guy. Now, I didn't grab a bow just because all of these comps do require these specific weapons. This could be a bad thing, but that moose looks a little dark to me. I want to say it's common. So, luckily, Bison hasn't decided to charge. I think backing up was a useful thing. And rather than dealing with charging and having the polar bear situation all over again and hitting where we are not trying to, We'll just take that brain shot and move on. Honestly, in the realm of realism, that's probably the way to go. They kind of, the way they charge and then stop isn't really the most realistic or challenging, but 111.8, not quite special, but worth taking as we're moving up through here. Well, sometimes I guess we have to shoot cow moose whether we like it or not. Go figure. They charge like, I don't know, way faster than polar bear and we can make a heart neck and lung shot the polar bear ends up being a body shot but uh i guess as an update to how far we've traveled we're almost up into this area where i'd expect to maybe start to see some snowshoe again actually if we kind of cut down through here i bet there should be some i'm hoping to maybe encounter one more there was an arctic fox track maybe half a kilometer back or so not a big one but like i said stuff kind of moves so far over the course of two, two and a half hours, you can see stuff like that, so there could be, in theory, really any species down here by now. I ended up deciding to fast travel to an area where I've had some snowshoe success before. No sign of any snowshoes, 
So I decided to do a fox call, and we did get a female to come in, but this has definitely been one of the weirder hunts we've been on in a while, and I guess an hour nearly of dealing with the first two polar bear, and primarily the one that was stuck on the ice for forever, kind of contributed to that, but I am pretty optimistic about the doll sheep. Unfortunately, never did see another polar bear to try to get to uh, charge and maybe go further in that comp, but we'll see, and... This is the first time that I've seen some of these uh, White Rhyme competitions. The Polar Bear one I had never seen before, the Doll Sheep we have participated in, and the Arctic Fox one I had never seen either. So, kind of looking forward to uh, the next rotation of these comps, maybe participating in those again. But for now, we'll just have to sit back and see if that Doll Sheep is going to net us a competition trophy. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.